All right, guys, I'm in my civilian uniform today and I'm going to show you how to multiply out your strawberries and get them prepared for the winter. Um, so you don't have to do too much looking after them. And um, in the spring next year, you're just going to end up with a load more than you started with. So I'll show you what we've got. I've got various setups with the strawberries as a hanging basket that's going into another hanging basket. But what I'm going to show you today is this pot. So I had, I originally planted three strawberry plants, um, one in the middle and one on each side. And uh, we're going to take these apart, plant them out into the border, and I'll show you one I've done already as well because it's worked an absolute treat. Okay, so see the one of the strawberry plants from the planter has, has actually planted itself in here, so it's already multiplying. I'm just going to nip off the bud. Oh, got a pair of scissors to cut it off. It was proving a bit tricky. Uh, right, let's take this out into the garden and I'll show you where we're going to plant them and um, what we're going to do with these these runners that are hanging off it and how to multiply these out. And we're going to see how many um, strawberry plants we, we're going to end up with. And also, once these are, are in the ground, they're going to multiply over the winter as well. They're going to send out runners and um, they're going to develop roots. We're going to be able to... them out next year and pick pick some good ones to put back in the greenhouse to, to have a good fruit. So uh, I'll just put you on the tripod and show you what we've got. Okay so I've put you on my head actually um, so hopefully you can see it okay. We've got these runners and I just want to tip all of this out We go, and if I'm smarter, I'll do it on the uh, do it on the soil, so we make a bit less mess. But these have been in the greenhouse all summer, and we've had strawberries from them. We had a couple of different crops. That's a weed, so I'm just taking out all the weeds first, because we don't want to transfer any weeds into the garden. And this is just compost from my own compost pile really it's nothing that was too special but there's a strawberry in there and i can see that we've got one two three four five strawberry plants in there we started with three so one has um, come in from the hanging basket and then this one's actually Sometimes you can see the runner that it came from. Yeah, it's not attached by anything that I can see. So it's just come in from one of these other three originals. So we just split them out. So there's one. And I do like to take the roots off because it's been in a pot. It's got really fibrous roots, which means it's just filled the pot with its roots but it's going to act a lot differently in the ground. The roots go a lot more normalised and instead of having like a thousand different roots you end up with a few roots. So take off a lot of these weak fibrous roots till you've got a root ball that looks a bit more reasonable for the size of the plant. And I'd say that's a bit better but it's still quite big. And then um, we'll do these others. We'll get one with with some of these runners on. So here's one with a runner on. Make sure they don't get tangled up because they can snap off. So we'll just bring down the roots. A bit of plastic in there. There we go, that's much better. So what we'll be looking to do is plant this in the ground um, and also let that runner, see we've got some roots here. 
once that's in contact with moist soil uh, the roots will grow out further and then when the roots have grown out properly we'll snip that line snip the runner and let it go out on its own but for now we'll leave it attached to the mother so the mother and baby plant and I'll just get so we'll just plant this in a in a space it's nice and wet soil I think we had some rain overnight they can get quite dry these borders and just plant it in make sure all the roots are under the soil and you can press it down a little bit and then the runner we're going to make sure it doesn't get in the way and it can find a spot anywhere really um, and you can just press it in and it will naturally just find its way anyway if you just sort of dropped it and left it on the floor it'll it'll work its itself out but a little helping hand by planting it in slightly. The other thing you can do is get a twig like this, this sort of thing. I don't think this is going to be strong enough but you can sort of bend it in two and then find the runner and then press it down like a peg there we go, yeah, and that's worked very nicely. So you can peg things down a bit with just a, a soft stick or something. And then we've just got a few more to do here. This was just a, a baby, so we'll plant that. And the advantage of taking them out of the greenhouse is that they'll just be able to water themselves and you won't have to look after them. And then when you come to plant up the greenhouse again in the summer, you can just get fresh compost in the spring sorry you just get fresh compost pick out all the good looking strawberry plants all the strongest biggest ones and they'll be ready to roll and this one's good it's got two runners on it so those will go in the ground we might get another plant out of there and we'll get another one along here as well so again plant it in a space and it could be anywhere if you're looking to make the most of all the room you've got make a space in here, plant it in and then the runners can go anywhere, it doesn't have, have to be anywhere in particular just where there's a space and again you can find a, a twig and press them down to help keep them in there but wherever they just fall naturally they'll they'll root so just a bit of tidying up and then planting a couple of these little babies and you can see already there were some planted in here the other pot that I emptied out a little while ago it ended up having about 15 16 potential plants in it from the original three so I would say we've probably got about 20 to 25 plants and potential plants there so far that you can see that will root down and um, by the end of the winter we may end up with more we may end up with a few more that, that grow over the that grow over the winter if they send more shoots out which they often do and so from an, an original six plants we we could end up with over 30 which is, is it's incredible and strawberries they really do multiply so we'll just get that one in so we've got lots of really well established parent plants and just put that old compost out onto the border okay wash my hands and um, do a bit more gardening.